Okay, so now the setup is complete. I'm going to show you guys the camping strategy I use for the higher rounds in this map. It's very, very simple. Basically, this spot right here in the supply depot, you have a trap right here at the top of the stairs that you can um, switch on. You can also use this mid-round as well. You just have to push forward a little bit from this spot. Uh, you notice we called in the dragon behind us, so we have a very, very easy... Uh, way of escaping just by coming up here to the platform clicking on square and we are out of here straight away um, for a nice cutscene nice break before we get the pack punch where we'll have time to get come back into the map again rinse and repeat uh, downstairs you have a gobble gun machine it's not in the most ideal uh, position unfortunately but it, it could be worse I guess um, and the other thing is that um, this spot here, what I like about it the most is you have a fallback position behind us here where the dragon station is, but you're also around a corner here at the top of the stairs. So basically, manglers shooting at you will not have a clear line of fire on you. Uh, if, I mean, if you stand where I am now, the ones coming from straight ahead can shoot at you, but if, you, if you're just around the corner here, uh, the manglers won't be able to shoot at you at all, so they're a non-factor and you b just basically take them out with the black holes from your maelstrom of errors. Uh, the other thing is that you can kind of see around the side for any perks that might be dropping, because otherwise it's quite hard if you're front on like you would be at the tank, um, tank station, tank factory area. Um, and the beauty of this spot as well is the Valkyries um, have a hard time shooting you directly because there's a lot of um, cover back here um, in this spot around the corner here. So now that is why I like this spot. And you can basically camp in this spot way past round 40, round 50. Um, but here's the thing, guys. The, um, the Wonder Weapon does drop off in power. It's not unlimited damage. So... Uh, in the really high rounds, if you're trying to get past round, say, 60 or so, or ammo starts to become a problem, that's when you will have to switch up this strategy to something completely different. So, just watch out for those Valkyries. Um, yeah, if you wonder why you're taking damage, it's probably because you're being shot by a Valkyrie. So that's why we have the, um, the Valkyrie helmet going. So you want to take those guys out as quickly as you can. I uh, remember you have your shield as well. So you have your shield, you can blast, uh, you know, if you get into trouble, you can blast Valkyries or Manglers. We have max ammo here, which I'll grab in a second. Let's push up and get that nuke as well. Beautiful, that's what we like. So, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention we still have to get Monkey Bombs, so we'll try and get those at some point here. And that will be the final part. Final missing piece of the puzzle for our setup. Yeah, like um, this spot that I'm standing in right here, um, it's a good spot to stand in to push up to get the trap. But later on, as the zombies get slower to kill, you might want to back up all the way to the um, the platform where the dragon is. But uh, uh, we've got electric cherry, we've got Widow's Wine, so we're going to be pretty comfortable here really. And uh, the other thing is this is an extremely fast spot as well. I mean, if you have the um, the trap going, we're not going to be using the trap much here until we get build up points to um, hit the box so we can get monkeys. But after that, we're going to be using the trap all the time um, as soon as it comes off cooldown and stuff. Take out that stupid sentinel. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, really, it's only the sentinels that you have to worry about. So you just want to keep an eye out. Um, shuffle back and forth because... They always shoot you, basically, they always fire um, like a, a stream of electrical discharge at the location where you were, you were at last. So if you're standing still, they're going to shoot you. Whereas if you shuffle back and forth, then they'll always be missing you anyway. But later on in the higher rounds, you'll probably get... In some rounds at the start of the round, you'll have like um, three or even four sentinels at once. So they can become a little bit of a problem. Um, the other thing is, once you start running into ammo problems in the higher rounds, when the um, when this thing gets a little bit less effective, uh, then you just use the alchemical antithesis. So pop one of those, and uh, you'll get back your ammo pretty quickly. Oh, that was risky. 
you get back your ammo pretty quickly. And what I like to do then is I like to basically at the end of the round, if I can, um, drop down and hit the um, the gobble gum machine and try and get another alchemical antithesis. So I've always got two up my sleeve, one or two. Oh, you gotta watch out for that. You gotta watch out for the blast from the um, napalm zombies and stuff like that. Oh, what the hell? That's it. That's an invisible zombie. We got. We gotta get out of here, man. Whoa. Damn, that was uh. So there's another glitch, Treyarch. Yeah, an invincible, invisible zombie. <laughs> Damn, man, nearly took me down. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's head on over to Pack Punch, just so we can get away from it. <clears throat> wow. See, this is why, this is why you probably do want to have Quick Revive. In, in these Black Ops 3 maps, there's so many glitches that will kill you for stupid reasons, like, um, that you can't do anything about, really. Um, and just as well we noticed that zombie, though. Even if it's invisible. Uh, I might actually try and get a different ammo for the uh, Stella Screech here. Oh, Deadwire. Sweet. Yeah, that was weird. Hopefully, um, hopefully it spawns back in in corporeal form so we can actually see it and kill it. Yeah, that's, um, that thing that you shoot in the sewer system, that's really weird. Like, I really want to find out what that actually does when you shoot that. If it's part of something else. Well, I appreciate the swiftness of All right, we're back in the main map. Did not enjoy it. Um, we've still got a shield. Like, we hardly, we hardly use the shield at all, but maybe I should, um, maybe I should replace it. Just so it's max health. Um, actually, we could probably try and get monkey bombs, since we're already right here. At least we can see the zombie now. <laughs> He's got his buddy back. He's been, he's been, um, this zombie's like from Mob of the Dead. He's got the ghost mode going. Oh, monkey bombs. Yeah! Nice! So we get them pack punched. I wonder if that's a bug. You know how you used to be able to, um... You used to be able to upgrade the Apothecon Servant in the uh, pack punch machine, and I think with... Whatever that gobble gum was, anyway... That pack punches your weapon. Fatal contraption. Mm. Yeah, so I wonder if that's a bug, because I'm pretty sure that they intended us to upgrade the monkey bombs in this map in some other, more complicated way, but <laughs> whatever, man. Uh, so we've got the dubstep monkey bombs. I'll demonstrate these pretty pretty soon, but let's just try and get an alchemical antithesis, because we're going to start. There we go. Beautiful. All right, now, guys, we are 100% completely set up for the high rounds in this spot. So... What we'll do is we'll get to round 30, and then what I might do is I'll keep on playing, guys, and then I'll come back. I'll probably, like, fast forward, or let's just call the dragon back in. Um, I'll probably fast forward, or I will cut out, um, I'll cut to some much higher rounds, just to show you guys um, what it's like past round 30 as well in this spot. So now we have... Um, have these things. Let's just try them out. Look at that. Oh yeah, disco time. You cannot stop <laughs> off death forever. <laughs> oh, they're pretty devastating. Okay, so now we've um we don't need any points because we have everything, so we can um, hit the trap pretty much continuously. And uh, you can also call in your um your pet dragon and just have him flying around as a backup. Uh, you have to kind of... You have to kind of time it really fast in terms of um, using the controller. Let's just chuck another one of those out. Hit that nuke. If we can. Or not. 
That was not the best throw, but yeah, it's it's a pretty cool. They're definitely more powerful than the regular monkey bombs, that's for sure. I think that's a bit of uh, Vanderhaar's influence. He likes his DJs, his music, the Vanderhaar monkeys. So yeah, you just want to watch out um, for max ammos. You don't want to miss those. You definitely want to try and get those uh, when you see them. So chuck a monkey, go get the max ammo when you see one. Um, watch out for the sentinels. Sorry, the Valkyries. I hope I haven't been calling them sentinels too much. I don't know where I get that from, but... Um, yeah, basically watch out for the Valkyries. Take them out as soon as you can, because they'll be your main problem and uh, you just have to time your reloads and uh, and hit those yellow orbs keep the black hole going basically so yeah when I use uh, when the um, dragon breathes fire and stuff like that I usually try and back right up to where the uh, let's take that guy out I usually try and back right up to the uh, dragon platform because uh, you can get those uh, napalm zombies that, that do you damage when they explode, so... Although they won't insta-kill you, uh, if you get shot by a Valkyrie at the same time as one goes off or whatever, then you can... you can go down, so... Wanna be careful with that. <laughs> There's some pretty cool audio that goes with those uh, upgraded monkey bombs. I swear there's a little voice saying, um, like the name or something, like a name? I don't know, I didn't quite catch what the name was. Alright. So, so far so good. Round 30. Take that thing out. So yeah, um, like, it is, uh, it's a pretty static strategy like there's not a lot of running around involved um, you still have to be very active though like aware of, of what's going on in the situation and everything like that so there is there is a lot of timing and, and skill involved in, in that awareness side of things but it's a very very simple strategy basically I mean all you really need is this wonder weapon and um, that's pretty much it that's pretty much all you need um, everything else just helps Especially the perks. Uh, the shield. Shield's definitely good. The helmet. The helmet's good to get. For sure. But these, these things are so annoying. They get harder and harder to kill as well. There we go. Oh, it's Valkyries. Max ammo. Let's call the dragon back in. Alright, let's try and take out as many of these things as we can with the Dragon Strikes. So I'll wait till they spawn in and try and get them to converge here. Oh no, fire! Let's get out of here! Oh man! Die! I don't have... A, I've only got one charge left in my shield as well right now. We'll get everything reached, um, like maxed out again at the end of this, of course. Try and take these guys out. So yeah, they are a little bit harder to kill. But not too bad. These things though. I hate these electric zombies. Oh man. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. So Oh, so much like that's why you have the Valkyrie helmet, guys. That right there. Oh yeah. Go get that monkey. Okay, there can't be too many left here. Let's get out of here. There's fire's coming back. Die. Is that it? It's got to be another one. That one there. Oh! That stun effect. It'd be good if Electric Tree gave you, like, um, immunity to electric damage. But usually they've only had, um, explosive damage. Like, it's not like a lot of games where you have different, like... Well, I guess they have introduced the different elemental damage types in the alternate ammo. 
So maybe, I mean, it's a bit late now to go down that path because there's probably only one zombies map left, but let's take that guy out with the shield. There it is, the max ammo. Shield is definitely the easiest way to do it. Uh, oh, nice. So we already had our chemical antithesis, but now we've got, we had one left, now we've got two, which is always good. All right, nearly at round 50 here. Let's lay down another Dragon Strike, start the round off. All right, we'll get the uh, Giant Eye going. Yeah, the layout of this map is really cool. Like, um, I don't know, it, it, like the buildings and that seemed a little bit same-ish to begin with, but it's kind of grown on me a lot, this map. I've played it a lot now, and um, I actually kind of appreciate it more than when I first played it. Um, I really love some of the touches that they've done, like the um, the robot arm in the tank, um, the tank factory area. The um, let's release our dragon. Um, yeah, like the uh, the claw trap is super funny. Oh, I love it. Um, the flingers uh, are okay, I guess. And um, these eye beams are pretty awesome traps as well. So I really love the fact they've got so many different traps in this map. So I think they've done a lot of things really well in this map. I just, I just wish they hadn't gone down the fantasy route with the dragons. I think that's a bit over the top. It's, it's like Treyarch always seem to be um, reaching to try and get some like some uh, cinematic moment in the map like we had with Origins with the giant robots they have to have something like that some major like dramatic feature of the map which I don't think is really necessary for it to be a good map but anyway uh, yeah this map is pretty good probably not as good as Derizon Draka but it's definitely a, a sort of good map you know a, solid, a good solid map definitely better than Shadows of Evil uh, as far as the Black Ops 3 maps go. Overall, looking back, like, without having seen the final map, I would say that, um... I would say that Black Ops 3 Zombies has been really, really good. And I'm really super excited to see what the custom maps, the, um, Black Ops 3 custom maps are, are gonna be like. Because there's so many assets now, there's, uh, there's so much. The tools are amazing from what I've, uh, I've seen, um, of them from, like, uh, ZC ZCT Chaos's tweets and stuff like that. And, some of the stuff he's uploaded, like the new tools look incredible, easier to use. It's going to be incredible while we get with the custom zombies. That's probably the thing I'm most excited for after the final map. Okay, do your work, Dragon. Look at him going to town on, on the uh, <laughs> zombies over there. So, yeah, in the higher rounds, what happens is um, the zombies get kind of compressed into a big giant mob because they don't die quite as fast so they get compressed a lot and that's why it does remind me a lot of using the uh, wonder weapon from buried in black ops 2 zombies uh, we can blast a lot of them with the shield here so the shield is still really effective in the higher rounds definitely good the blast furnace uh oh let's just be careful try and make the most of this insta kill so we save ammo it's really the main reason. Luckily, the PPSH has a lot of ammo once you pack a punch it, especially. Now, it doesn't look like we've got too many Valkyries this round, which is good, because we've been getting a lot of them leading up to um, the last Valkyrie round. Maybe after the Valkyrie round, you don't get any Valkyries. That, that might be how it works. So we, I don't think we've had a single... Have we had a single Valkyrie? Maybe I've killed them and haven't even noticed. I've been talking too much. Okay, go do your thing, dragon. The um the dragon does have a fairly slow cool cooldown after you use it. It's not quite as good as the skull and ant sapway from uh, Zetsuba no Shima. That was incredible. Imagine if you had those that skull in this map as well. <laughs> There's so much OP. You know what I like most about Black Ops 3 Zombies though? Is the fact that there's a fair bit of challenge, but they've given you all the tools, all the OP tools to actually manage it well. And that's where we'll leave this high round solid strategy, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. Please remember to rate and comment. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Slippy Jim out.